About time. That's a headshot out there, and it is an absolute pain in the rear to get. Because from this distance, which is 75 or so, my, uh, my 2 MOA dot on this T2 is about the size of that dude's head. Which, by the way, these targets and that one out there are the size of a real human being. They're an exact replica. Alrighty then. Hey guys, welcome out to the range. Today I wanted to do a quick video to answer the question that was asked of me. Well, it was a comment, and I thought about it. And I'm like, okay, I need to do a video on that. What some of you don't know, and you don't know this because I catch you by surprise sometimes, is um, all the comments on all the videos, no matter how old the video, I monitor everything. A lot of that, well, actually, the, the, the main reason why I monitor everything is because I do not allow my, my channel to turn into a dumpster fire. It's not going to happen. And the other thing is, you guys teach me so much. I learned so much from you guys. Listen guys, the BCM handguards, years ago I got that from one of you guys. I didn't even know these things were a thing until one of you said, hey, have you looked at the BCM handguards? No, I haven't. Wow, love that. And that's all I build with anymore because they're that good. And on and on and on and on and on. I mean, this chest rig, you guys are the ones that turn me on to these things. And I go search it out and I go, I got to try that. And I reach out and I... Um, I either reach out to the manufacturer and I say, hey, can you let me get that at dealer cost so I can test it? Or can you loan me one? Or, you know, but uh, almost everything I have, I pay for. Um, I think optics really, uh, well, the Trigicons are the only exception. I pay for my aim points, but uh, the Trigicons that I have are loaners. So anyways, uh, today's video is on why I don't put an emergency release buckle into my two-point sling. And it's simply this. You ready? You ready? You ready? This is really, really highly tactical. You ready? You see that? Isn't that nice? Isn't that cool? Because at that point, it's that. Now someone's going to go, yeah, well, you know, like what if you're like bound up in a fight with, a, with an alien and you're all tangled up in your sling? And I'm like, oh, bro, wow, that's awesome. Oh, look, I, I got out there too. But what if you're being dragged to your death by your weapon? So the, so the weapon's caught up on something, right? Oh, snap. Oh, look at that. That's why it's called a quick detach. This thingamafloppy, this is called a quick detach. And look, I have two of them on my sling. Now, if y'all think I'm mocking the person that made that comment, you're right, I am. Young man, your pizza rolls are ready. Put down the Xbox controller and go eat. Yeah. Guys, our industry is so filled with tactical wannabes who don't come out here and put in the time. You know why I'm wearing this right now? Because even though it is February in Tennessee, last night it was freezing. Right now it's actually hot and the sun is really high in the sky. And since I'm out here for hours at a time working on videos, I have to wear this head buff. So the comedy of this is tonight it's going to get to freezing again. It's just, guys, I'm putting the work in. I come out here and I, bru and I bruise myself and I cut myself and I train and I learn and I share this knowledge with other people and I put in the work, which is why I know for a fact that two point slings don't need emergency release buckles because the sling in and of itself is an emergency release buckle. The whole sling, you can get out of this. Now, a, a single point sling, yes. A single point sling absolutely does need a release buckle. Why? Because the sling is a very narrow loop that you're inside of. That's why I'm always saying, with a single point sling, you're in the sling. And with a two point sling, the sling is on you. There's a difference. This bad boy wraps all the way around you, which is why they all have an emergency release buckle sewn into them. Because the emergency release buckle, which would be right here, allows you to immediately reach down and dump the weapon if you're hung up in it. But guys, if your weapon is hung up on something and it's dragging you, first of all, you'll notice I sew two feet of shock cord into the sling for a reason. It instantly gives you all the room to immediately fold yourself up and eject yourself right out of that sling, okay? Guys, you are overthinking this because your favorite tactical sling pulled by your favorite former special forces whatever instructor has an emergency release buckle and a duflotch and a thingamabopi and a hootapootapootie. I don't, because 
These slings were formulated from years of training and experience to be as simple and as slick as possible. That's why they're designed the way they are, and that's why they don't have an emergency release buckle. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll do my best to answer them, and in some cases, I will ignore them. As always, God bless you all. Have a good one. Get those guns out and practice. Felt that one. I love shooting. What a perfect day for training.